solve the following equations. These are equations involving sets. Let's begin with the first one. We have square root of x plus 5 is equal to 1 plus square root of x. We will begin by squaring both sides. So we are going to have square root of x plus 5 squared is equal to 1 plus square root of x squared. Square root of x plus 5 squared will give us x plus 5. 1 plus square root of x squared will give us root of x in one bracket, then 1 plus square root of x in another bracket. Let's expand the bracket. So on the left hand side we have x plus 5. On the right hand side we are going to have 1 times 1, which is 1. 1 times square root of x, which is square root of x. Square root of x times 1, which is square root of x. Then square root of x times square root of x, which will give us x. So this gives us x plus 5 is equal to x plus 1 plus Square root of x plus square root of x will give us 2 root x. I'll send 1 and x over to the left hand side. When I do that, I'm going to have x minus x plus 5 minus 1. And this will be equal to 2 root x. x minus x is 0. 5 minus 1 is 4. So we have 4 is equal to 2 root x. I'll divide the left hand side by 2 and the right hand side by 2. When I do that, I'm going to have 2 is equal to square root of x. To get x here, I'll square both sides. So we have 2 squared is equal to square root of x squared. 2 squared will give us 4 and square root of x squared will give us x. So we have x is equal to 4. Let's look at the second equation. For the second equation, we have square root of 5x minus 6 minus square root of 3x minus 5 is equal to 1. I'll begin by sending square root of 3x minus 5 to the right hand side. When I do that, I'm going to have square root of 5x minus 6 is equal to 1 plus square root of 3x minus 5. I'll now square both sides. So we have square root of 5x minus 6 squared is equal to 1 plus square root of 3x minus 5 squared. Square root of 5x minus 6 squared will give us 5x minus 6. 1 plus square root of 3x minus 5 squared gives us 1 plus square root of 3x minus 5 in one bracket. Then 1 plus square root of 3x minus 5 in another bracket. Now let's expand this. So on the left hand side we have 5x minus 6 is equal to 1 times 1 gives us 1. 1 times square root of 3x minus 5 gives us square root of 3x minus 5. Square root of 3x minus 5 times 1 gives us square root of 3x minus 5. Then square root of 3x minus 5 times square root of 3x minus 5 gives us 3x minus 5. I'll send 1 3x and negative 5 over to the left hand side. When I do that, I'm going to have 5x minus 3x minus 6 minus 1 plus 5. And this will be equal to square root of 3x minus 5 plus square root of 3x minus 5 will give us 2 root 3x minus 5. 5x minus 3 gives us 2x. Negative 6 minus 1 plus 5 gives us negative 2. So you have 2x minus 2 is equal to 2 root 3x minus 5. Let's simplify further. 2 is a factor on both sides, so I'll divide both sides by 2 to simplify the equation. On the left hand side, we have 2x minus 2. When I factorize out 2, I'm going to have 2 into bracket x minus 2. Then I will divide by 2. On the left hand side, we have 2 root 3x minus 5. So I'll divide 2 root 3x minus 5 by 2. So 2 and 2 will cancel each other out. And we will have x minus 1 is equal to square root of 3x minus 5. We still have the square root here, so I will square both sides to get rid of the square root. When I do that, I'm going to have x minus 1 squared is equal to square root of 3x minus 5 squared. 
Now, x minus 1 squared will give us x minus 1, x minus 1. Square root of 3, x minus 5 squared will give us 3, x minus 5. x times x gives us x squared. x times negative 1 gives us negative x. Negative 1 times x gives us negative x. Then, negative 1 times negative 1 gives us positive 1. This will give us x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 3x minus 5. Let's simplify this. I'll send 3x and negative 5 to the left hand side. When I do that, I'm going to have x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 1 plus 5 is equal to 0. And this will give us x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. We have a quadratic equation here. So we solve this quadratic equation. We will simplify the quadratic expression that we have here. So we need two numbers that when we multiply, we will get 6. But when we add them, we will get negative 5. Those two numbers are negative 2 and negative 3. So we will replace negative 5x with negative 2x and negative 3x. When we do that, we are going to have x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. We factorize x out here. So we have x into bracket x minus 2. Then here we factorize 3 out. We have negative 3 into bracket x minus 2. And this will be equal to 0. And so this will give us x minus 2, x minus 3 is equal to 0. To solve for x, we will equate what is in both brackets to 0. So the first one we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And so x will be equal to 2. And then the second one, we have x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 3. So the values of x for the equation is x is equal to 2 or 3.